Well, I got something special here. This is an Orban Optimod model 9100B. It's a multiband compressor limiter audio processor. <clears throat> this model was used back in the early 80s and throughout the 80s and even into the 90s with AM broadcast transmitters. Uh, it was the final processing that was done <clears throat> with the studio audio being linked to the transmitter site. This would typically be used at the transmitter site. Uh, to, to interface the studio audio into the transmitter. It would provide some AGC, multiband compression and limiting, and <clears throat> it would help, <clears throat> excuse me, make the audio sound uh, very full, uh, very level, consistent, and provide some EQing at the same time. Uh, what it's doing is it's picking up some, my ambient sound from my uh, microphone, which is an RE27, and uh, I'm using this for, audio being fed to my uh, Yaesu FTDX 101 uh, just to do some uh, uh, multiband compression limiting and it's uh, it's an amazing unit. These were not cheap back in the uh, in the 80s, uh, early 80s, these were uh, five, six thousand uh, dollars. This one has upgraded uh, meters. The original ones had vertical analog meters <clears throat> that over time constantly moving would wear out and need to be replaced. So um, Orban has this LED modification. Uh, this one came to me from Orban. It was a factory refurbished unit and um, it's uh, it's nearly mint. This thing is really, really pretty. And uh, I'll show you the back of it here. So it's in uh, extremely good shape. And you have this little door, little key and little door you can open here to access various controls. But you can also, if you take these three screws out, this is this is some of the stuff I love. Uh, since I love the quality of engineering of like older Hewlett Packard test and measurement equipment and, and the ease of working on the die cast aluminum frames and the quality of the construction, this thing has impressed me. It's very similar. So you take the three screws out of the top, it opens up, it's got uh, hinges, so the front panel lays down, <clears throat> and it's got these quarter turn fasteners on the front panel. We can turn the power off here, front power off here, <clears throat> and we can pull this cover like so. Move this cover off, and then we can see all the card slots. Set the cover aside here. And uh, these are the various input and processing boards. And over here it has a card extender. Huh, just like some of the old HP test equipment. So we can put the card extender and extend the cards out for working on them. And even notice it's got little notches here so the cards can sit once you have the extender on so it sits in there. And it has this little Orban branded tweaker tool in here for adjustment. This thing is just fantastic. Nicely labeled boards. And this board here I had out a few minutes ago because I had to make an adjustment on the board. There's an input attenuator. Bring the board down here. There's an input attenuator um, jumper down here. Uh, so I had to adjust that from a zero dB to my, to, or sorry, from 20 dB of attenuation to zero dB of attenuation to be uh, more compatible with my audio chain that I'm feeding it. So push the board back in and it has some room for some additional boards. For example, if you want to do stereo AM, you could have some additional boards for stereo AM and it had different uh, uh, filtering boards for various pre-emphasis. Back in the uh, 80s, they had various there was a battle with NRCS, the various levels of pre-emphasis, depending on uh, car manu what car manufacturers were doing for AM receivers at the time. Uh, this one has what's called the uh, the blue board, uh, which gives it um, uh, about 10 dB of pre-emphasis at 10 kilohertz. Um, this uh, unit works well for amateur radio needs, if you can find one. Uh, they're, they're out there, but they're, they're still not very cheap. Uh, like I said, I was very fortunate that um, Mike Pappas at Orban 
had one of these laying around and he offered it up to me and uh, I gladly took it. So I will probably do some more videos with it on the air. Um, I haven't had a lot of chance to really play with it and get it um, uh, set up yet, uh, fine-tuned with my audio chain. So I am still working on that. Um, but uh, so far, initial reports are it sounds very good. And I'm really looking forward to playing with it some more. Well, that's all.